The fashion world is attractive and tempting. If you are so enthusiastic about it that you decided to devote all your life to the fashion industry, you are probably thinking about a decent education. Is it possible without professional education to work in the fashion industry? How not to get lost on the fashion educational platform? What is the difference between fashion education in Ukraine and abroad? To find your niche in the fashion industry, you need to gain at least the minimal level of knowledge. However, one cannot be successful without desire and talent in this sphere. I have always loved fashion, everything that is connected with fashion and was very interested in it. When I was nine years old, I knew for sure that I wanted to become a designer. As my grandmother always said, I was born with scissors in my hands. The fashion industry, especially the design sector, is rapidly developing in our country. In this direction, there are plenty of opportunities for the implementation of creative ideas and the career growth of a designer. The main thing is that we're trying to convey the message to designers what should they know. The ideal designer should understand the basics of sewing skills and the basic element of designing. This is very important for future designers. But it all depends on which direction the designer wants to work. They must understand that at the very least learning and mastering the basics of marketing and sales will be useful for them to develop and achieve a successful career. Today's young generation is indeed living in the fast lane. After all, the fact is that fast fashion and fast food is trendy. People don't understand anything specifically. Everyone is a small-time blogger, a small-time designer, a small-time singer, or somebody more specific. All you need to do is focus all your energy in one direction, especially in the world of fashion. Those who want to get a quality education in the sphere of fashion go to Europe. Studying abroad opens the doors for them to a big world of fashion. World-famous designers attend in fashion shows and see famous fashion brand names. All this is available, but for these future designers have to work hard. In order to study abroad, you need to prepare a solid portfolio. I started making a portfolio when I attended short courses at the London University of Arts. I worked hard for half a year and became a student of this university. If you decided to study in Europe or the US, there are plenty of prestigious educational fashion institutions there. Depending on what you prefer, studying the specifics of the fashion industry or getting a brief informational impulse, Foreign universities will offer you a basic or short-term education. Among them are the well-known Italian Instituto Marangoni, the Paris International Fashion Academy, the Academy of Art in the United States, and the Women's University in Seoul. And this is not a complete list of higher learning institutions in the sphere of fashion. But the London University of Arts is probably the best among all other institutions and has six colleges. Among them is the famous Central St. Martins. Famous graduates of this university were John Galliano, Stella McCartney, Alexander McQueen, Vivian Westwood and others. Young Ukrainian designer Jan Stepanenko also graduated from the Central St. Martins. In England, there is a quite different specificity. You are not taught to aspire to something and be similar to somebody else. You are taught to be a person. Therefore, we were maximally excluded from all external factors so that we could focus on development. I spent a lot of time in the library in which we learned new things. We tried to apply our knowledge to future works. You should get knowledge from the best but you can't emulate it, such as the philosophy of education at the London College. 
My personal favorite is Christian Lacroix, who will always inspire me in this sphere. For me, this is the absolute god in the fashion world. There are so many photographers, such as Nick Knight, for example. At the same time, we weren't taught to be equal to somebody else. They pay attention to the fact that you should be yourself. It seems to me that this is the basic of what should be presented in every learning institution in the world. Visiting fashion shows is an obligatory component of studying in London. Of course, we attended fashion days. I do this twice a year. This is the atmosphere in which I like to be, and I always want to be present there. There is a perception that a designer doesn't see you clothing. He or she makes the images of the collection, inspires the cutters, and thinks about every detail. But is this really a fact? In any case, I believe that it is very important and right to have a good grasp of all the stages of production, how to explain the details and nuances of the work. Indeed, seeing as I am a fanatic of sewing and truly like sewing, I am obligated as a professional to tell about the process and show others how it should be done. And only then, if you have time and your team works together, you can already expect to achieve a positive result. But before that, I believe you should develop yourself in order to create your own label. Andre Tan gained the Western experience of the educational system and tried to implement it in the educational fashion industry in Ukraine. Unfortunately, there are very few people who know how the fashion industry works in Europe. I was taught this there and I brought my experience and applied it in Ukraine. Educating people in the fashion industry is the main task of the Andre Tan Academy of Style and Design. After all, fashion is not only about a designer. In Ukraine, almost everyone thinks they are designers. Fashion is people who organize the whole process. These are those same fashion show organizers. Unfortunately, nobody told us this. In Europe, there is a special training program, in which one can learn all about the fashion industry. In addition to the designer specialty, there are other fashion specialties, such as a stylist, a buyer, a brand manager, a fashion photographer and others. In addition to the training of designers, the Andre Tan Academy offers training sessions in other spheres of the fashion industry. We have directions for designers, cutters and tailors. We also have another direction, visage. Then there is the PR element of the fashion industry. At the Andre Tan Academy of Style and Design, you can attend lectures of experienced practitioners. This training system attracts many foreign students. There are very many foreign students studying in our academy. I think this is a very good indicator. In order to study at the St. Martin's College in London, we are especially preparing students to pass the exams there and earn one of the most highly respected degrees in the fashion industry. To achieve good results in any sphere, in particular in the fashion world, you need to invest in your studies and development. This includes studying at prestigious fashion schools and participating in competitions, especially for young designers. In Ukraine, there is such a platform for beginning designers called the New Fashion Zone. We work only with young designers. They don't have experience at all. We try to explain to them that the learning process takes a lot of time. When you release a certain collection, you need to understand at least the assortment. That is how many pants, how many skirts and dresses should be included in the selection. New Fashion Zone is the only platform in which I wanted to participate. This is the only free platform that allows young designers to develop. According to fashion specialists, this industry will not be able to develop actively if everyone is simply a designer. I must say that education in the fashion industry is not at the highest level of excellence, starting from the cutters, tailors and PR managers. For some reason, everyone thinks they're John Galliano and Christian Dior. Nobody wants to be just a tailor and cutter. And in fact, this is a major problem. Just think, after all, somebody needs to sew clothing. The professions of tailors and cutters are not trendy today. Most students are not particularly keen on becoming cutters. 
and what if students are interested in grants and participating in different contests. It is necessary to explain to children that they can achieve success and the fact that they have very high chances of doing so. Not a lot of grants are allocated and it is not that easy to receive them. Unfortunately, this does not stimulate students to become creative. There should be some simpler mechanism. Professor Miroslav Melnik believes that a student's creative individuality is revealed when they start learning to think outside the box. While some non-standard solutions are very necessary for contemporary people, we should start thinking from a different angle. A person who teaches should never forget about self-education. I try to learn, I try to take the best from abroad. I attended several master classes in the most prestigious schools, and I try to present this experience in our academy. That is, you take your own approach to a topic that you have developed over the years, and you have only half an hour to present your concept. Nowadays, this is much easier thanks to access to Google. Is it possible to be considered a professional if you don't have a diploma of graduation from a university in the fashion industry? There is such an approach that there can be different chains in the sphere of education. That is, a person thinks this is impossible and there is no conformity to the rules of composition. After all, a person without an education has a greater imagination. Courage is inherent in creative individuals. There is a good proverb, better later than never. In order not to regret that the dream didn't come true, Halina Burnisheva not only became a model in her adult years, but also opened a modeling school. From time to time, I dreamt of becoming a model. After finishing my studies after a few years in Kyiv, I even managed to receive a certificate, which for me is like a blessing in disguise. So many years had passed by, and only two years ago my dream came true. At the age of 67, I became a model and successfully established my own modeling school. It's never too late to learn, especially if you want to achieve excellence in the fashion world. The age of studying is not an obstacle. By the way, Christian Dior got into the fashion world when he was 40. At the Andre Tan Academy of Style and Design, one can start studying at any age. We offer a different level of training. This is for neophytes in the world of fashion and for those who have been engaged in this sphere for many years. That is, we have many students who are 40 years old and who open their own ateliers. The fashion industry in Ukraine is developing and it requires more and more educational platforms. It is pleasant that many Ukrainian designers, having received education and experience abroad, are introducing their knowledge into the development of fashion education in our country. No matter how old you are, you can become part of the fashion world. Attend courses, workshops, or use online training. Western Fashion School or Ukrainian – it's up to you to choose. The main thing is that fashion education reveals your originality and individuality.